Hi, my name is Elizabeth Guthrie. I'm one of the personal injury attorneys here at Sports and Sorts. Everyone who's signed their child up for daycare, school, or summer camp knows that there's tons of paperwork involved. Often, daycares and summer camps require you to sign something called a waiver in order for your child to attend. Waivers full of legalese can seem really scary, but they are not ironclad. There are many circumstances where waivers will not hold up in court to protect a daycare, a summer camp, or any other such business or school from bad acts. For example, uh, if a camp counselor is texting and not paying attention, and your child's playing on the playground, like on the jungle gym, and they fall or they're injured by another child, that business could be held liable. Similarly, if your child is exposed to a hazard, like broken floorboards or a broken bunk bed, or even if they are given a toy that is inappropriately sized for their age, let's say they're really small, like three, and they are given a toy that's a choking hazard, those are more examples of cases where you may have a valid claim for your child's injury. Of course, you and we always hope that your child is safe and well cared for by responsible adults. But accidents do happen. And if your child is injured while in someone else's care, it's important that you take the appropriate steps early on to preserve evidence. You should gather all the information that you possibly can, such as taking pictures, taking good notes, talking to other parents, talking to the teachers or anyone else who might have seen what happened. Once you've gathered all the information that you can, please come take it to an attorney. Speak with us at Sports and & Sports and we can tell you what your options are and whether you have a valid case.